Without seeing it in person, many people find it hard to believe that this is a real animal. It is a very strange animal, with a beak that looks like a duck and a body that looks like an otter. It's as if someone had attached a duck's beak to an otter's body, then put it in Australia as a joke. The platypus is indeed an animal that looks like it makes us wonder, is this a real animal or a prank? But despite its strange appearance, it is still better than deep sea fish, the ugliest dog in the world, or the eye eye from Madagascar. And even though it is strange, don't try to mock the platypus because it could be your hero one day. The platypus produces hormones and proteins that can save human lives, which might also save you. So don't just judge it by its strange appearance. There is a good reason behind it, just like durian. From the outside, it looks scary, but inside, who knows, it might be incredibly delicious for those who like it. Scientists have studied the DNA of the platypus and found that it shares a lineage with reptiles, birds, and mammals. That's probably why the platypus looks like a random experiment of various animal body parts mashed together without any regard for aesthetics. But it's not just the appearance that's weird. The platypus is also an egg-laying mammal, a lactating mammal, and a hunter using electricity. You could say it's like a superhero who can't decide which superpower to use and ends up using them all. Now, if you want to find a platypus, it's not easy. They only live in a small area of the world, namely the freshwater areas of the island of Tasmania and the east coast of Australia. They live underground, burrowing among tree roots. If you want to meet a platypus, prepare a gift that they like. Platypuses are carnivores who love to eat insect larvae, worms, and freshwater shrimp. But honestly, why do you want to meet a platypus so much? Maybe because its breast milk can save our lives? An interesting fact, platypus milk actually has extraordinary antibiotic powers. It can even fight antibiotic-resistant bacteria and strengthen our body's antibodies. Imagine, milk from this strange animal can save us from global epidemics, like the coronavirus that used to give us headaches. So, how do platypuses produce milk? Of course, in a unique way. Female platypuses have mammary glands, but no nipples. They are a monotreme species, mammals that lay eggs. After laying eggs, the female platypus guards the eggs until they hatch. Platypus eggs are also not hard like chicken eggs, but soft like reptile eggs. When baby platypus are born, they do not suckle directly from the nipple, but instead lick the milk that pools in their mother's stomach. And the platypus weirdness doesn't stop there. Its duck-like bill is filled with electroreceptors that can detect tiny electrical signals from its prey. So it's like the platypus has an underwater radar. Oh, and they don't have a stomach. Food goes straight into their intestines and they don't use teeth. Instead, they have grinding pads that grind up their food so they don't need the stomach acid that we usually have. Now the platypus feet, they have webbed feet that are very effective underwater, but on land, well, that's not practical. Platypuses have to walk in a toe-clenching style because of the webbing between their toes. So they need a lot more energy to walk on land, which is why they're often seen in the water. The platypus is also protected by Australian law because of its endangered status. Long droughts and climate change in Australia have destroyed their habitat. And of course, humans have also played a role in threatening their existence through hunting and habitat destruction. Thanks for watching this video all the way to the end. If you like the discussion on this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. Because your likes and subscriptions are like feeding a platypus. Hey, I mean, helping the development of this channel.